All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a trick um, that is a little bit different involving a phone here. So a lot of people I've seen in the comments want me to do some tricks kind of separate uh, from cards, but today I'm going to show you the exact same trick. Um, all I did was just kind of add in a deck of cards just to make the trick a little bit uh, a little bit better. So the thing is you can use the basic concept of the trick without a deck of cards, and this is what it is going to look like. So basically, let's say we have a calculator here, and you can give it to somebody, and they can plug in a few random numbers and let's say they would just go ahead and they would multiply them together. These are completely random numbers. And as soon as we multiply them, it should be a huge number here. I'm going to show you guys. We have, it looks like, 485,169,776. So what I'm going to do here is over here in this packet of cards, let's say, um, we mix it up real quick. And then what's going to happen is the spectator is going to say stop whenever they like. So let's say they said stop here. Completely random choice, and on this card, any card they could have chosen, they happen to pick the card with the exact same prediction. So, uh, this is a card trick, and if you guys learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the e tutorial. Alright, so here's how you guys can do the trick. Um, I'm going to show you what I did with the deck of cards after I kind of get over like the main concept. So basically, all you have to do is get a number that you write down, or a number that you're going to have the prediction of, and you write that down and you plug that into the calculator and you're going to want to put that in the range of hundreds of millions because if you give a spectator um if you give a spectator a couple options to plug in a separate three digit numbers and the value is too high or too low they're going to notice that the calculator is a little bit off and there's something going on so you kind of want to make it about uh, this size and at this point what you want to do is click plus zero times and you're basically set up. So obviously you can see the little time square is has a black outline, so then all you have to do is click zero, and now you are completely ready to go. It looks like a brand new, fresh calculator. At this point, you're gonna have the spectator uh, go on to the phone, and you can tell them that they can multiply a couple numbers. So go ahead and tell them they're gonna multiply like a three digit number. So they plug in here, and then you tell them to click times, and it's going to go back to zero just like that. Now in the most cases, the spectator is not gonna notice that the number is going back to zero once they hit the uh, the multiply button. So what you can do is you can have it in your hands and they can see you plugging in that number. And then when you click times, you can kind of just angle it around so they can't see the zero. But obviously they can see you clicking in numbers and you hitting times. So that necessarily isn't too sketchy. But at this point, once you've had them plug in enough numbers, once they're done, you can have them click equals and it's going to go back to the original number. And that is basically the trick. And now for the card part that I did, is I had the spectator's card with the prediction written on it and I told them okay so this is the number you multiply to and now all I want you to do is tell me when to stop and what I did was a slip force and I'll leave the link up here so you guys can see simply I just took the top card wherever they said stop I slipped it from the middle and I gave it to the spectator so this is a trick guys I hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching